what's up it's me Kimberly Ann welcome back to another video so today as you can see from the title is the thank you and next book tag I'm so excited to do this I really do love this song and also my girl Normani is going to be going on tour with Ariana Grande so I probably will be buying a ticket to see Ariana Grande anyways without further ado let's get started the first question is name a book that you said thank you next to that you dnf'd basically i've talked about this in the books i've dnf video um i have not really dnf'd a lot of books i kind of make sure i do thorough um thorough thorough um digging into the books that i buy this one was because i didn't do enough research and digging and also i just I wasn't into the story at all. I don't know why I picked it. Honestly, the reason why I picked it up was because people were like, everyone loves it. Bestseller. And I was like, oh, everyone loves it? I probably love it too. No, I don't. There's not really much to say about this book. I didn't get that far into it. Maybe a couple pages. And I was like, these people are fighting and I don't care why they're fighting. So that was basically it, you guys. The next is you can answer the next three questions together or separately with completely different books. Okay, so name a book that taught you love. So the book that taught me love is One of Us is Lying by Karen and Magnus. And the reason why this taught me love was because I looked at um, reviews about the book and I saw the book from the jump and I read the synopsis and I was like, Oh my goodness this is a book that just sounds really interesting this is a book that i could read for november no for october and um yeah so i picked it up but i didn't think i was gonna love it i just thought oh this is gonna be really interesting it didn't have the um kind of tropes that i didn't like so i was like okay this is gonna be good and then when i started reading this book i was like mm, i don't know if i'm feeling it but y'all, this book surprised me. Like literally by the end of this book, I was in love. Like this is like uh, a book that I just really love. And I think it was because of the love relationship um, between two characters. I'm not going to say the name because I don't want to spoil it. But between two characters that I just didn't think that I needed. And also it was because of the intricacies of all the characters. Like the characters had depth um, with each secret that they held. Um, and it touched on different things with like controlling relationships and all. Just it was a deeper book that I thought it was going to be. And I'm just totally in love. And it taught me love. It taught me that you don't judge a book by the first impressions and also by its cover even though this cover is sick <laughs> the next question is the name of a book that taught you patience so I'm going to talk about two books because one of the books I still need to do a November wrap-up for and kind of want to give you all the deets then but um that is going to be a blade so black this book taught me patience um because kind of a slow burn and it was just a very interesting story and surprisingly I think all of the whole book kind of happened in around three four days so very interesting um and it taught me patience I want to say more about it but I don't want to ruin my November wrap-up so I won't but yes because I want to give more of a complete answer to this question I'm going to say The Host by Stephanie Meyer was definitely a book that taught me patience kind of took a little bit to get to the meat and I think when it comes to Stephanie Meyer's books that's kind of how they go with this book and with the books other than the Twilight series that she's written that kind of was the tempo for um, those books and I've read all of them because Loki is stan of her which is problematic um I probably will talk about that sometime in the future maybe I don't know but yes this really taught me patience but the ending loved it Ugh, this book love so yeah it just took a lot it took a little bit for the things to really get to the action part of it and um, the story to fully develop but um, I do have to say that 
her solo pace for this book at the beginning was very smart because it kind of set the mood it set you um being in the person's head and kind of that struggle so i definitely do appreciate it and it really did teach me patience all right and the next question i believe is what taught you pain because i'm looking at yes it's the name of a book that taught you pain y'all this book taught me so much pain I'm I should have DNF'd it because it was just it was heart-wrenching like thinking about it makes me look you want to cry um what taught me pain was the book thief by Marcus Suzak oh my gosh this thing made me ball like a baby like literally I was in my bed just sobbing curled up in a ball just <sighs> Such a beautiful story, um, very much a slow burn, but it was such a beautiful story and it paid off. Those couple pages, oh, had a girl gone, like gone. Um, yeah, definitely Tommy Payne. Um, the character, okay, so this, if you guys don't know about it, this is around the time when the Holocaust was happening and Jews were being killed, murdered, all of that. And it kind of deals with a family that is not Jewish. Um, they're not really for the Holocaust, but they're kind of caught in the middle because if they are sympathizers, people want to kill them, that type of thing. And some things ensue. Um, you fall in love with a real, real friendships, well, a lot of real friendships, and um, they kind of become a little heart rent. Oh, God, wow, thinking about it, we're not going to do this. Yeah, just such a sad book. And if you love a good cry, literally, this book takes a little while for you to get into, but, like, do it because this will give you a good cry, a good cry, so yeah the next question is name a book that you loved at the time of reading but in hindsight you did not like as much anymore but it still taught you some lessons or kind of you got some quality from it so the book that did that for me was chemist by stephanie meyer i this book was good um i really did enjoy it when i was reading it this could also have been that um i didn't really have anything else to read and i kind of was stuck in a dorm room with nowhere to go on top of a hill in france so but yeah this was a really good book but in hindsight there were so many problems with it the pacing was off this love story was a little weird it was kind of on that insta love tip there was just a lot but the plot was kind of cool the plot was kind of cool i did kind of enjoy that um but yeah so this is kind of book that's a little iffy i do it, it it's readable though it definitely is readable i have not really heard a lot of people talk about this book on booktube i don't know it came out a little bit ago but yeah, I didn't really hear a lot of people talk about it, so I don't know how people feel about it. But I definitely think it's readable. It just, from hindsight, there's a little, not some things, it's a little waft. So, name a book you're currently talking to have the hots for. Um, currently talking to, is that a book that I'm currently reading that I have the hots for? Or, like, I don't, I fully don't get this question. So, I don't know. So I think I'm going to do a book I'm currently talking to, like a book that I'm currently reading, and then a book that I have the hots for. So I'm just going to kind of split it up because I don't, I don't, I don't know. So I'm going to do that. So a book that I'm currently talking to, I'm going to make this quick because I don't really want to spoil anything for my wrap ups or anything like that. But the book that I'm currently talking to is The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy. I totally have the hots for this book. Um, I think it's a really good book so far. I'm enjoying the feminist aspects of it because she does kind of live in a time where sexism was rampant and sexism is still rampant so that's saying something but yeah so I'm really enjoying this book and I totally have the hots for it and I'm currently talking to it at the moment. A book that I'm not currently talking to but I have the hots for is Children of Blood and Moan. I'm always going to talk about this book. Y'all probably real tired of me talking about this book but it is what it is y'all. Zelly is my girl and Tomi Adeyemi is my girl. Follow her on Instagram and all of that and I just love her. 
and she's just so relatable and she talks about so many things that I just have a passion for um and yes so and I think I also have the hots for it because of the reason why she read this book so if you guys read um kind of the author's note you guys will figure that out but yeah I totally have the hots for it and I can't wait to reread it before the next book comes out so yeah and it's just so sick look at this book y'all look at it it's gorgeous so yeah name the book that's gonna last name the book that helped you love yourself a little bit more so i have a book for that i kind of have a couple books for that because i'm a lot of books well a couple books that i've read kind of did help me grow as a person um a lot of those are kind of memoirs one of those books are actually written by tiari jones um but yes yeah, so this book is the one that i picked up and i just loved it because um Issa Rae as a person kind of taught me a lot from watching her YouTube video, Awkward Black Girl. I'm a bit awkward, kind of introverted. You guys probably wouldn't know that from my YouTube videos, but I am kind of awkward. I can't wait to read it again because I've gotten into annotating. So I can't wait to read it again and kind of annotate my funny parts that I really love and some interesting parts, some thought-provoking parts, that type of thing. So... Yes. And then also I want to give a little shout out for um, my comment of the day. It's going to be by Chica. I'm going to put it up. But it says, you're inspiring me to give BookTube another try in terms of posting videos. This is on my November TBR video. Oh my goodness. This made my heart flutter to be able to inspire somebody to start back on BookTube. It's just amazing. Thank you so much for kind of sharing that with me. And I hope that you do. I told you, do it, girl. I will be watching. So, um, yeah, thank you. And that is the end of the thank you next tag. I hope that you guys enjoyed it in the com, not in the comments. Oh my gosh. I'm a mess. In the um, description below, I'm going to be naming some people that I would love to tag. So I'm going to do that and hope that you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more of me if you guys enjoy what I'm giving you guys. And also give it a like if you enjoyed this video. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.